the most advanced project ever to be carried out in Kenya since independence over 50 years ago. The last time we invested uh, in a railway system is actually exactly 122 years ago. It all started four years ago with a groundbreaking ceremony led by President Uhuru Kenyatta. Step by step, pieces of iron and steel were joined one after another. Millions of tons of cement also laid out to create a foundation for the railway line. Today, more than four years later, the enormous project is complete. The first part, that is. This is the main Mombasa terminus, situated in Miritini, some two kilometers from the main Mombasa Nairobi highway. Contractors, engineers, casual staff are all sprucing up the station in last-minute cleanup activities. The Mombasa terminus built on a slope is said to be iconic once operations fully begin here. It is an artistic design that will not only be home to railway personnel and thousands of passengers, but also offers those who come here an opportunity to enjoy the scenery of Mombasa and the Indian Ocean. The building has three floors. At the entrance are conveyor belts, where luggage will be screened and inspected before it pops out the other end. From here, ticket holders will either sit at the lounge on the ground floor or opt to go up the other floors. And there are three ways to do that. One is to use the lift at the center of the station, while the other options are the staircase or the elevator. Security guards and police officers have familiarized themselves with the building's open and closed spaces. Once on the first floor or second floor, passengers will be encouraged to sit at the lounge areas as their locomotive arrives. Currently, a light passenger service has been in operation for more than a month. Engineers have been testing the speed of the train and other works within the station. This train left Nairobi at 8 in the morning and arrived a few minutes after 1 p.m. At the station, the train will take another 20 minutes for passengers to alight and others to board before it begins the journey back to Nairobi. The rides are free at the moment, but starting next week, passengers will be required to pay for the tickets. There are VIP rooms on all the floors, as well as restrooms. Railway crew have been trained and are ready to serve the passengers and ensure they enjoy the journey to and from Mombasa. They are bringing uh, the best they have, both in China and their sister company in, uh, in Australia called John Holland. The idea is to make sure that you have people who are experienced who can run the train. And then on a year-by-year -year basis, we have a program with them to change that balance now from Chinese to Kenyan. That's why we have a program with them to go and train Kenyans in uh, Bien uh, Beijing Jiantong University. Already there are students being taken every six months. The SGR project here in Mombasa is a marvel to look at. This is like a mini airport, except it's not. This is the main Mombasa terminus, and from here, thousands of local and foreign tourists are expected to start plying their routes from Mombasa to Nairobi using the railway. Simply put, the railway transportation in this country is just about to be redefined completely. While millions of Kenyans are eager to use railway transport once again, Bus companies in Mombasa are facing tough times ahead. For almost two decades, bus companies have had the monopoly in public transport from Mombasa to other destinations. Today, if you look at the way we manage our transport system, expensive, very risky, because we have a lot of accidents on, say, Mombasa, Nairobi, you know, highway. With the train, that will be reduced because a lot of people will go into the train. The trucks as well. But then that question about what you happen to all these trucks, you know, 40% of them may be taken off of the road, uh, maybe the buses as well. But we are fast tracking new corridors. Along the way, there are several railway stations where passengers are expected to alight or board. Miyasenyi Station, which is complete, is one of them. The Transport CS says security within and around the stations will be paramount, whether day or night. From Miyasenyi, the next stop is Voi town. The journey to Voi from Mombasa is likely to take an hour and a half. The station, just like the Mombasa terminus, is complete. Security apparatus are in place and every passenger will be required to use their ticket to gain entry into the station and the platform near the railway track. There are sound systems to allow passengers on any new announcements. The clocks above the platform are real-time 
and will be used to remind passengers about the time of departure. All the main stations have huge workshop areas where repairs on the locomotive engines and coaches will be done whenever necessary. Residents in Voi say they are eager to use railway transport because there are more benefits. Tango railway kaletwe, watu wengi walitamani kujenga hii maeneo. Nikana kwamba walikuwa na bashiri kwamba utakuwa na biashara. So wengi wakapendelea kuleta mabiashara zao. Two decades ago, traveling to Nairobi from Mombasa would take more than 10 hours and therefore coaches that could be turned to sleeping cubicles were available. However, this time round, that will not be the case. Most of the new coaches are fitted with upright seats because the journey is now shorter. Next week, President Kenyatta will officially launch passenger trains and will board one of the coaches from Mombasa Terminus all the way to Nairobi. It is expected that after that maiden trip, there will be two trips to and from Mombasa each day. Back in Miritini, however, there is just one headache that the national government has to sort out quickly. Traffic snarlaps from Mombasa town to the Mombasa terminus. Already we have agreed the terms and the financing with Africa Development Bank to do a six-lane highway from the island to a place called Kwanjomfu and Kwanjomfu to a place called Mariakani. But once traffic is out of the way, businessmen say they will be able to do business in Mombasa one morning and attend another business appointment in Nairobi in the evening of the same day. Nimrotabu NTV, Mombasa.